Okay, Pioneer fans and anybody that um, wants to try and connect the new DDJ FLX4 controller to your laptop. And this is really a video for people that are trying to use Beatport Stream, okay? Now, I contacted Pioneer via email to try and get their help. And quite frankly, um, I don't know if they were both taking the piss, but they were shocking. Um, I wanted to try and record a Beatport Stream, which I was finding challenging through Record Box, because when you press the little red button in the middle, it won't let you record streams because of uh, copyright, which is stupid because you pay for the Beatport stream per month, like a subscription, or you can download it and pay for it. So either way, you're both paying. So you can pay for it, but you're allowed to record even though you don't own the copyright but you can pay for the stream, but you can't record and you still don't own the copyright. So it's pointless really. So if anyone from Beatport is watching this, sort it out because this is an absolute nightmare. Right, I'm gonna to cut to the chase. I want to try and record Beatport stream, okay? I'm gonna go straight to the settings because this took me ages to piss about with. All right, click on the little gear icon at the top. And make sure that's what your screen looks like. You've got DGJ, FLX4, Wasapi, the little tick, output audio from the computer built-in speakers, okay? Just make sure everything looks like that when you go into record box. Import record, master out, okay? That's that for that screen. Um, then you go to Audacity, which is on here. Different versions might work differently. Okay, I had a bit of trouble with this version, which is 3.2.3. .3. I just presume that the updates were too new for the new DG, DDJ FLX4, so nothing was really syncing, right? But anyway, go to audio setup, click on that, then audio settings. Just make sure everything on your screen looks like that. So you've got Windows, was happy. Playback device, the Line 2 FLX4, recording device, speakers, uh, audio loopback, and then the channel stereo. So just make sure that's what your settings look like and that should work. And then the final one is the settings on your PC, okay? Which again, I found this the most challenging because I'm not the most tech savvy. If you're using Windows, I apologize to anybody that's not because this is a Windows sort of demonstration. If you're using a Mac, and you can do your own video. Um, the sort of settings on there is the output devices, the speakers, the input devices, the controller, and then you've got a few more settings down here. You want the volume and audacity turned up, and you want record box turned down on one of the channels, otherwise it'll play through the PC, and you'll just get a distorted uh, sound because it's out of sync to the controller and the speakers. So that's kind of the setup, really. Um, the idea is now is to go into Audacity, press the record button. It doesn't matter if there's a bit of white noise at the beginning. Go to the record box, play your tune. And now you see some waveforms. Yeah, which you know it's working. You can change the sort of setting at the top to make sure that it doesn't go in the red. But to be honest, the equalizer on the deck should do that as well. And yeah, um, at the end of the mix, just convert it to an MP3. When you click onto file, you got export. So yeah, so when you've done your mix, just record it. Obviously, press stop, export the file to uh, MP3, and you got yourself a nice little mix. For all your Instagram followers, for your mum and dad. Um, yeah, I mean, sort of Beatport and Pioneer's mindset is if you're streaming live, you somehow, you know, <laughs> unless you've got millions of followers, like you're infringing on some sort of copyright. But most people like you and me that do this, do it in your house. 
um, doing your local community. They just want to um, make mixes and listen back to it because that's how you get good at DJing. Uh, I'm 43 years old, started DJing when I was 17, and the best practice was constantly doing a mix. Start, stop, start, stop, listen to it back, see what you did right, see what you did wrong. So I would urge the Beatport uh, pioneer and audacity get your heads together let djs do mixes a lot more easier through record box um, i mean i mean that are really pioneering beatport because it's their function that seems to be at loggerheads um, you can record a stream if you pay for it but you can't record a stream if you subscribe to it subscribe hello is a payment so sort your shit out lads uh, apologies for the language but hey ho um yeah Enjoy your weekend.